Welcome to RK Tutorials, Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Timoshenko, 5th edition. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set to 2.6 and problem number 2.92. A smooth right circular cylinder of radius small r rests on a horizontal plane and is kept from rolling by an inclined string AC of length 2r. A prismatic bar AB of length 3r and weight Q is hinged at point A and leans against the roller as shown. Find the S that will induce it in the string AC. That means there is a right circular cylinder connected by a string AC and a prismatic bar AB is also arranged like this. Our interest is to find the tensile force in the string AC. Now, given that the length of the bar is 3R and there is a, a somewhere here self weight. Self weight Q, this is the uh, G and this distance must be equal to 1, 1.5R because it is the center of gravity which is the midpoint of AB. Next, AC length is given as 2R. So clearly we can see this is the radius of the cylinder. Let theta is the angle made by that AC with the vertical. And now here we can see this distance. This distance is also equals to R. And which is right angle. This is at right angle. Hence this distance is also equals to R. Let this angle is alpha. Now consider the right angle triangle ACF. Here you can see a right angle here. Now cos theta is equal to adjacent side that is r divided by hypotenuse that is 2r. Hence I can find theta is equal to 60. So this value I can calculate it as 60. Similarly I can find the right angle triangle AC. Uh, I will put some name here let us say D. From the right angle triangle ACD I can say sin alpha is equal to the opposite side that is 2R, sin alpha is equal to the opposite side R divided by the hypotenuse that is 2R. Hence, I can find the value of alpha and I calculated this value as 30 degrees. This is theta, this is 90. Hence, where this prismatic bar and cylinder is connected, this distance is not known. Let x is the distance where this prismatic bar and cylinder are connected to each other. Now I can find the value of x by considering this right angle triangle ACD because I know this value alpha is equal to 30. So if I use cos 30, that value adjacent side that is x divided by hypotenuse 2r, hence I can find x is equal to 1.732 into r. Now, since this value is theta, this value is 90 minus theta, which is 90 minus 60, that is nothing but 30. Hence, that AB makes an angle 60 degrees with the horizon. Now, let us consider the free body diagram of the prismatic bar AB. What are the various forces acting on AB? Here it is a hinged support, so two reactions will develop here. And there is a string is also connected, so there is a string force. A string is also connected, hence there is a string force. Now here there is a contact, hence there is a reaction force by the cylinder onto the prismatic bar. Look at there are two reactions RAH and RAV and there is a Q self weight which is at a distance of 1.5 R because the total length is 3 R. Hence the weight always acts at the midpoint that is 1.5 R and there is a reaction at D. There is a reaction at D. And we calculated that, that that distance is 1.732 into R. And we also know that this make this is an angle of 60 degrees, the total angle 30 plus 30, that is equal to 60. And there is a string force, yes, also acts at the point A. Now I can take the moments from point A. Now RAH, RAV and yes, all three forces are passing through the point A, hence no moments will be produced by all these three forces. Only two uh, moments will develop. One is due to R, this is in the counterclockwise direction and Q, this is in the clockwise direction. 
Next, I also required the distances. The line of action of Q, this is the line of action of Q and this distance I required and this is of course this is a perpendicular distance that is 1.732. So by using this right angle triangle I can find this distance as 1.5 r into cos 60, 1.5 r cos 60 will be the distance here. Hence I can write the equation sigma m a is equal to 0 that means q multiplied by 1.5 r cos 60 minus r into 1.732 into r is equal to 0. From this I can find the reaction r that is 0.433 q. Now the same reaction I will use while I am analyzing the cylinder because it's the same reaction r will act on the cylinder but in the opposite direction. Now let us consider the free body diagram of the cylinder. Now there is a normal reaction, it is acting upwards, there is a string force, yes, there is a reaction R as we discussed. There are three forces, all three forces are meeting at point C, hence I can apply the sign rule. So I am transferring all the three forces, the first one is the normal reaction, next one is the string force, yes, one the reaction R by the prismatic bar onto the cylinder and that value is 0.433 into Q. Let us discuss the angles. Now this R makes an angle 30 with the horizontal and yes, this yes makes an angle 30 with the horizontal. Clearly we can see this yes makes an angle 30 with the horizontal. Hence I can apply the sign rule. Now according to the sign rule, N divided by angle between these two forces that is 120 sin 120. Yes divided by angle between these two forces that is one, sin 120 and R that is 0.433 Q divided by angle between these two forces that is 120 that is sin 1. Hence I can find the required force yes by using these two equations. Yes is equal to 0.433 Q is the answer for the given problem.